Welcome and thank you for joining us. My name is Tiffany with Alexander's Aesthetics located in Burlingame, California. And today we're going to demonstrate a back wax using the Serapil Ease Wax. The first step is to cleanse the skin. We're going to be using our blue cleanser that has 9% alcohol in there. Enough to kill bacteria, get any oil and dirt off the skin, but not enough to dehydrate it. We want to make sure that the skin is nice and hydrated when we wax. The next step is a drop of oil. You don't need a lot of oil. I tend to spread it around in my gloves first, and then I massage it onto the skin. We want to make sure that it gets to be that barrier between the skin and the wax. There's not necessarily a correct way or place to start on the back. Personal preference is I tend to start from the bottom and I work my way up. So I take my disposable stick. I dip it into my wax, I scrape the back side of it, I bring it over to my client, I deposit all of the wax first, and then I spread it. And I'm going to continue that process all the way up one side of the back. I like to deposit as much product as possible first and then I go back and do all of my removal. So once I've applied as much wax as possible, the nice thing about the ease is that it doesn't dry. Then I go through and I quickly do my removal. I'm going to use the same strip as long as I can. Once it starts to build up on the strip, I fold it over. Now I still have this area that I can use to continue to remove. Now that we're done waxing the lower part of the back, I cleanse the skin again. It's easier, this is a personal preference for me, I like to clean the skin while they're still lying down because I sit them up to do the neck area and this is a little bit more comfortable, they're a little sticky sometimes, I just want to soothe everything down before you move on to the next step. So you use that blue cleanser again and then we use that after waxing gel to help cool and calm the area. Being sure that we're not touching the next area that we're going to be waxing. Just gently massage that in. So once we get to the nape of the neck, I tend to use my Serapil Blue Surplus Wax instead of my Ease Surf Wax. Now, a big question that tends to come up a lot is to trim or not to trim. That, to be perfectly honest, is a personal preference to each individual esthetician. Depending on the person, sometimes I will trim and sometimes I won't. We 
depositing all of our wax, and then we're spreading it. Notice that the lip of my wax is where there's no more hair, so I'm not going to be flicking any areas with hair. If for some reason you don't have enough of a lip, you can use the shiny side of a strip that you've already removed and use it as your edge. Shiny touch side to shiny side, attach it, and it makes your edge. Once we're done with the neck, I go back in with my blue cleanser, close up those pores, clean the area, Again, we're just cooling down the pores. They think they're getting a 